Link engaged. Visit us at teamspeak.com. Start. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to the one and only Shakuras Plateau, which is a popular holiday destination in TBT, so I've been told. And apparently Hellions like to come out in this this holiday destination. They love it, folks. They love it. That is actually their preferred holiday destination. I've been told they get great package deals. I know. They, they do, especially now Desert Oasis is gone. They have to come here. I love Desert Oasis. So did I, man. That's great. It's such a great map. Why, why, why can we not bring back Desert Oasis? Hell, throw <sighs> a bit of world ship in there as well. I think it'd be bad now in the, in the way that the game has been developed. But initially, it was so fun. Like, different <laughs> angles to come by, rocks on your natural. Mass Reaper, why not? Hey, sounds like a plan. Dude, I still have nightmares about that. I wake up in the middle of the night screaming. My girlfriend's like, oh, what's wrong? I'm like, Five Racks Reaper. Oh, dear. Dude. Oh, I remember that's... Five Racks Reaper. I'm sure not a lot of people remember Five Racks Reaper. What a painful thing that was. I think Idra remembers the most out of everybody. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah, I can't really blame him, honestly, <laughs> at this point. Oh. <laughs> Oh my, oh my, oh my. Right, I bring you ice cream. He is in the uh, dirty bluish trunks because, of course, what better colors to pick than blue and blue ice cream to the southwest? Uh, not a caster friendly setup <laughs> versus his opponents, the one and only Hack. He is in the uh, darker blue trunks to the northeast. He is playing Terran. Wow, these Koreans are like, let's make it as difficult as possible That's what I would expect to hear from them. Let's pick the same color. <laughs> Near enough, anyway, yes. I don't know what the Korean accented version of Trollolol would be, but there we go. That looks like a proxy barracks. Indeed it is, Total Biscuit. And we actually saw from Ice Cream in this game that he went re uh, refinery before barracks. So he's gone for fast gas, which in TVT is a little bit weird because you don't really see reactor Hellion opening so much. Um, so it could be for a very fast Banshee. Um, but because of this proxy barracks, I think it's going to be quite hard to hold because his initial barracks is late. You can see in the production tab, we have a Marine that's halfway done and the barracks hasn't even finished yet for ice cream. Yeah, it's the same situation that was up against Dice Star, as we recall correctly, and Hack was able to take him out. I've got to say, the positioning of it is a little dodgy, admittedly. I mean, it's very, very close to that ramp. It is certainly scoutable. Oh, dear. Ice Cream is going for the factory. This is identical build to Dice Star, and he's got no bunker down at all. No, he's going for the second refinery. He's even skipped that supply depot. He's going to try and build it now, though. Um, but that's going to give him a little bit of an advantage, but once all these marines just save up to five or six marines, he's going to be able to just wall that supply depot down. Mm. And uh, I don't think he's going to have any idea. Does he even have any vision? No, he hasn't no. even sent out a scout yet. So Not at all. We've oh. seen this before, and it's not pleasant. I have to wonder if Ice Cream can hold it a little bit better than Dice Star did, which is, of course, to say he didn't at all. Indeed, and is he going to build a third marine? Yeah, he's going to build a third marine. He might build a bunker on the off chance because he's gone for this tech path. Um, but he's going to scout. Right he, what is he going to see, though? Ooh, he sees a Marine. He sees a Marine. Does he scout? He looks... Oh, he's driven away from the proxy barracks. He loops around and he spots it. Okay, so at least he has some information. But Ice Cream started a starboard right now. Uh, I'm like, uh, okay, you're going to go for Banshees, but you need a bunker. Please build a bunker. Mm, he, has, he has a Hellion coming in. That will certainly help quite a bit. Mm. This is not what I would perhaps have expected from Ice Cream, honestly, as a response to seeing that Proxy Barracks, he builds a Starport, which is an intriguing idea. But we'll see if Ice Cream is able to hold it. He's able to take out the SCV. However, the ramp is in control of Hack right now, who is sitting on eight Marines versus three. That's Supply Depot taking a beating. And it's going to have to be amazing Hellion play in order to defend against this one. Oh, he does not want to lose that Supply Depot, Total Biscuit. He'll Ew. go down in a big supply drop, as you can see um, that he does have another one in production but does not want to lose that the hellion though as you did point out good sir that will help out a lot especially when these line up up that ramp yep he's looking for it unfortunately hack has a good spread right here this defense is actually holding unbelievably and now finally starting to put the hellions down and that's the problem scv driven away and that it oh uh, this is not looking good right now for ice cream at all there is a banshee coming out for some reason Imagine if Terran had Chrono Boost, man. They'd get that Banshee out right now and he'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, there was a Banshee in the tank coming out with no Siege. This is suboptimal. 28 out of 19 supply now. No supply depots being made. Oh my. Don't send your SCVs in before the Banshee. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, he can't hear you, damn it. Oh, Barracks is getting out of there. And of course, this proxy to Barracks play. Very, very aggressive and very, very effective. We are relying now on a Banshee. 
mass repaired Banshee, I can only imagine. A mass repaired Banshee in the tank. The barracks is going down. The supply block is there. The tank is up. And now Hack charging into the mineral line. And can that SCV hold that tank up? And the defense may actually hold, but I really don't see what kind of follow-up he's going to have here. He is looking for it nonetheless. There's the mass repair coming in. And the tank can deal with all of those Marines, but there are reinforcements coming in. Lots of SCVs bleeding. The Banshee is actually moving into attack, if you can believe that. But smart enough, we do have Hack here. We'll be building a uh, turret hopefully soon. He's got the engineering bay. Uh, it would be very unwise to get an engineering bay and not get a turret. So um, if he does do that, he could end up losing a lot of stuff here because he has hardly any Marines left. Hack is getting highly aggressive with that barracks right there. I was going to land it. I was going to use it to menace that siege tank and laugh at him from the air. In comes the Banshee right now. And of course, there is actually a severe lack of defense. However, Ice Cream needs to get in there very, very quickly in order to stop those missile turrets from coming up. This is a bomber style counterattack, as far as I'm concerned, by Ice Cream right now. After having his base gun, he decides to go for it anyway. And if his opponents are never going to missile turrets up, that could be very, very problematic. And the missile turret goes up right now. Nine kills on that Banshee. It's looking good, but still, the question is did he catch up? He actually almost did. I know. I actually can't believe how dumb Hack is. I'm going to say oh, that. Oh, wow. He did not build a missile turret oh. after having the engineer for so long. That's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Um, and it's really costing the game. He's basically lost the entire advantage. It's unbelievable. And to be fair, this, the only thing Ice Cream could have really done was to attack from this position. Yeah, it's like so obvious. Uh, so easy to stop. But unfortunately, he completely forgot about it. Uh, which is kind of costing the game. Oh, oh missed micro right there as Ice Cream losing one. There's the scan right here. However, he doesn't have all that many of those remaining. That, in fact, would be the last one for a little while. Ice Cream pushing forward once again. Needs to try and stop that missile turret from going up, but he can't. And this looks like Hack's going to be able to defend it. However, as we can see, Ice Cream is actually back in the fray with 19 SCVs to 22. Indeed, um, but the hack has had that expansion up a lot longer. He's had the orbital command up a lot longer, so he can catch up quite easily. Um, especially with mules going down over and over, he's trying to get back into the game, but still is behind because we basically saw a fast expansion build straight away off that two barracks. And even though he did a lot of damage with the banshee, didn't quite do enough. Yep, Hack is still sitting on 25 SCVs right there. His defense is looking very, very solid. Worker's kill is actually 11 to 14 in favor of Ice Cream, if you can believe that. But he is still behind economically, and that's certainly something to consider. However, Ice Cream is back in the fight after a very aggressive and dangerous counterattack there. He does have three barracks up. He's got the factory, and of course, he's got the starport as well. So things are looking fairly reasonable. Viking easily snipes that one off, as you probably saw about five seconds ago. I'm trying to sink the replay up there we go how wonderful that is and hack now moving forward as quickly as possible and looking to do some damage and i actually love turret viking defense it's so good and then you can transition so easily into these kind of pushes once you've defended once you've got the viking count up once again uh we don't have that here for ice cream there we are going to be having some siege mode action underneath here but Siege Morph's not even done yet, no. it's only at 50%. Well, actually, that's 50% for Hack right now. Ice Cream doesn't even have it, and that's going to be very, very problematic. We'll see if he's able to hold up against this. It looks like he will be able to push that one away. And Hack's actually throwing a lot of units away there. Mm, indeed. And, uh, that, <laughs> okay, it's uh, a little bit bad there too, Hack. Come on, pull out, pull out. And uh, he's going to be going said. back. That's what she said. And then she got pregnant. <laughs> What? I think you didn't have to follow that one up with anything, good lord. Uh, it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was lowbrow until you just had to take it one stage further. And that actually is what happens when you get two British casters, folks. We will try and push the envelope. Be safe, children. Good All right, lord. and so we, uh, now we do have Siege Mode um, finished now for Hack. On the other hand, we do not have Siege Mode even begun nope. for Ice Cream. But Ice Cream has Stim. And if we look over on the other cam, we have... Um, hack with no stim, only, well, so close from finishing. So this kind of push uh, from Ice Cream here is going to kind of run into a wall. Because yeah. he's going to try to hit with no, without stim. I mean, with stim, against no stim, and then be like, oh. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to clear these destructible rocks out at the moment and possibly gearing up to take another expansion. And uh, He doesn't quite have the money for that just yet, but he gains a little bit of mobility in the process, grabs his own watch now, sees what he can <coughs> see. Mm -hmm. And a sensor tower is coming down for Hack, and we see that Hack is actually kind of a fan of these. He is one of the few players that does regularly build sensor towers. Yeah, and, and there's no reason not to. Um, the way that this positional matchup is based, then you should be getting a lot of them. Not just one, you should be getting like two or three to actually control the entire of the game. 
uh, and see drops coming and so on. As you can see, that's a large, large radius, and you're pretty much safe, but looks like... Here's the quick stim, as yeah. you can see right there, and Hack actually does have an army supply advantage. It's quite significant, in fact, and of course, Ice Cream, without the ability to deploy siege mode, is forced backwards, and he will get siege up fairly shortly, but there's not a lot he can really do there. There's a quick scan, and Hack knows exactly where his opponent is. If he's able to get in there right now before siege mode gets up, that could be nasty. Um, looking at the SCV count, 42 versus 39, quite close. It's all going to be about who sieges first, though. There's the engagement right there, and he's able to get in there just before the siege mode actually uh, becomes active. Viking firepower raining down on those medivacs, one taking out the sky, and Hack pushing forward. This is good aggression right here by Hack. Can he take out a Marine? There's Quick Stim backwards, unfortunately, they have annihilated very, very easily here. And that could be a free medivac. Down it goes. And another tank as well. Hack with an amazing amount of oh, momentum right here. 52 armies, Black 24, single tank deployed. And Hack could actually go for it right here. He needs to bring the tank down immediately in order to make this actually happen throwing himself in there gg ladies and gentlemen or crab crab as i like to say right there crab crab from ice cream and it looks like we are going to be have a uh one one now in yep. this final one one it is a best of five yes it is if i am correct and uh we'll have to see which the third map is going to be but gg or crab crab as total biscuit calls it and uh i'm surprised about that game actually i'm surprised why would you say that because I'm surprised at Hack, even though he won, um, he could have lost that. Very silly oh, yeah. mistakes in that game. Yeah. Throwing away units, number one, as you pointed out. Not getting the missile turrets up, which is really weird. And that could have thrown him the game away. But luckily, scrapes through a win. 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one in this best of five series, folks. Between these two Koreans and some TBT action for the ages, we are seeing high drama right here. Some of the best TBT you will no doubt see. It's looking good. Uh, this is the TL Open number 17 is brought to you by TeamSpeak 3 and, of course, the one and only Team Liquid. We will be back after these short messages with yet more action from this particular series. Don't go anywhere.